no evidence of Trump-Russia collusion. That was the big takeaway of the long-awaited report of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, HPSCI, released on Friday, April 27, after months of delays caused by foot-dragging at the Department of Justice, FBI, and other intelligence agencies. In the course of witness interviews, reviews of document productions, and investigative efforts extending well over a year, the committee did not find any evidence of collusion, conspiracy, or coordination between the Trump campaign and the Russians, the report states. However, the report did provide more bombshell evidence confirming what millions of Americans already knew or suspected, to wit that top deep state operatives, especially former FBI Director James Comey, former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, and former CIA Director John Brennan, were, and are currently, engaged in collusion, conspiracy to remove Donald Trump, the constitutionally elected President of the United States. For over a year, they and their comrades in the media and Congress have carried on a relentless attack on the presidency of the United States and on the will of the American people, as expressed in the 2016 election. We will return to the bombshells further on, but first a word about the black holes in the report, which are further evidence of the stalling and obstruction by Obama holdovers in these agencies. This ongoing obstruction has caused members of Congress to threaten DOJ and agency officials with contempt of Congress charges if documents requested months ago were not forthcoming. The stonewalling and obstruction are continuing, as evidenced by the massive redactions in the delayed report. The 243-page document, entitled Report on Russian Active Measures, has substantial portions of many pages redacted, and some parts of the report have entire pages blacked out. The redactions are the work of the DOJ and the intelligence community, to which the committee submitted its report for review, to assure that no classified or sensitive information relative to national security would be revealed. HSPCI Chairman Devin Nunes, R. Califf, and other Republican members of the committee have pointed to the redactions as further evidence of obstruction by the permanent bureaucracy in Washington. Given the substantial public interest at stake, the committee is publishing the redacted version we've received. Chairman Nunes said in a press release on Friday, however, we object to the excessive and unjustified number of redactions, many of which do not relate to classified information. The committee will convey our objections to the appropriate agencies and looks forward to publishing a less redacted version in the near future. The strategy of delay and obstruction by the Democrats in the deep state is obvious. First, refuse to release documents requested by Congress, the constitutionally designated federal body elected by the people of the United States, second, when forced to do so, dribble the documents out in the slowest manner possible, and third, when the committee finally receives the documents and writes its report, delay the agency review as long as possible and then black out as much of the damning evidence as you think you can get away with. The objective is to stall and string out the process until this November's midterm elections in the hope that the Democrats can retake the House of Representatives, shut down the HSPCI investigations, and launch impeachment proceedings against President Trump. In its investigation thus far, the report notes, the committee interviewed 73 witnesses, conducted nine hearings and briefings, reviewed approximately 307,900 documents, and issued 20 subpoenas. The committee cast a wide net, the HSPSC report states, generally asking each witness as whether they had evidence of any collusion, coordination, or conspiracy between Russian candidate Trump or any of his associates. The committee also investigated potential Trump campaign links with Russia, focusing on allegations relative to Trump's business dealings, the Trump campaign's policy positions and personnel, involvement in or knowledge about the publication of stolen emails, and meetings with Russians. The witnesses before the committee include persons pointedly hostile to Donald Trump, such as John Brennan and James Clapper, who have been prime propagators of the Trump-Russia collusion narrative. However, when specifically pinned down and asked if they had any evidence of this storied collusion, they admitted to having none. In the course of witness interviews, reviews of document productions, and investigative efforts extending well over a year, the report said, the committee did not find any evidence of collusion, conspiracy, or coordination between the Trump campaign and the Russians. The report offers a summary of key points arrived at during the course of its investigation. 
Among the many summary findings, explained in greater detail in the report, are the following. When asked directly, none of the interviewed witnesses provided evidence of collusion, coordination, or conspiracy between the Trump campaign and the Russian government. The committee found no evidence that President Trump's pre-campaign business dealings formed the basis for collusion during the campaign. There is no evidence that Trump associates were involved in the theft or publication of Clinton campaign-related emails. Although Trump associates had numerous ill-advised contacts with WikiLeaks, the committee found no evidence that meetings between Trump associates, including Jeff Sessions, and official representatives of the Russian government, including Ambassador Kislyak, reflected collusion, coordination, or conspiracy with the Russian government. Possible Russian efforts to set up a back channel with Trump associates after the election suggest the absence of collusion during the campaign, since the communication associated with collusion would have rendered such a back channel unnecessary. The HPSEI report, which is word-searchable in either the online HTML version or in the PDF version, provides important details relative to the much-hyped steel dossier, the hit piece on candidate Donald Trump put together by Fusion GPS for Hillary Clinton's campaign and the Democratic National Committee, DNC. This is the dossier that former FBI Director Comey admitted in Senate testimony is salacious and unverified, but which he continues to flog for political revenge and personal gain on his current book tour. What should be apparent to any honest, rational observer who will examine the evidence is that, if there has been any collusion with Russia, it was Clinton and the DNC that were doing the colluding. The summary section of the report notes, prior to conducting opposition research targeting candidate Trump's business dealings, Fusion GPS conducted research benefiting Russian interests. The law firm Perkins Coy hired Fusion GPS on behalf of the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee to research candidate Trump's Russia ties. Christopher Steele claims to have obtained his dossier information second and third hand from purported high-placed Russian sources, such as government officials with links to the Kremlin and intelligence services, Christopher Steele's information from Russian sources was provided directly to Fusion GPS and Perkins Coy and indirectly to the Clinton campaign. $50 million from Dem megadonors to keep Steele collusion going a major revelation of the committee report that has been completely overlooked by the mainstream anti-Trump media appears in a footnote on page 113. It concerns a contribution of $50 million by mysterious donors to Fusion GPS to continue its investigation of the Trump-Russia collusion narrative. The person heading up this effort is a man by the name of Daniel Jones, who was staffer for liberal left globalist senators and Dianne Feinstein, D. Califf, a business associate of former Senate Majority Leader Thomas Dashley, DSD, and an agent for the FBI. Jones' name is redacted in much of the document, but for some reason was allowed to slip through in other areas, enabling a deciphering of his role in this venture with a shadowy Democrat financiers. The HPSEI report notes that Daniel Jones, who currently leads a research and investigatory advisory called the Penn Quarter Group PQG, is a former employee of the Dashley Group, U.S. Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, SSCI, and FBI, it reports that while at SCCI, he served as the chief author of the Committee Study of the Central Intelligence Agency's Detention and Interrogation Program, and further states, in late March 2017, Jones met with FBI regarding PQG, which he described as exposing foreign influence in Western elections, name deleted. Presumably Daniel Jones told the FBI that PQG was being funded by 7 to 10 wealthy donors located primarily in New York and California, who provided approximately $50 million. Name deleted, presumably Jones, further stated that PQG secured the services of Steele, his associate, name deleted, and Fusion GPS to continue exposing Russian interference in the 2016 U.S presidential election. Name deleted, presumably Jones, planned to share the information he obtained with policymakers on Capitol Hill and with the press, and also offered to provide PQG's entire holdings to the FBI. There is much more to come, as the report is digested, and as the drama heats up, among the Democrats in Congress and their media allies, to divert America's attention away from the deep state treason and treachery that is underway to overthrow the Trump administration. Photo of President Trump, AP Images